These are very smaller streets, Ventura Canyon. This is going to be in the uh, Arlita area, coming up on Roscoe. That's going to be a major out here. Uh, you can see that vehicle working its way through the traffic out here, westbound Roscoe. That's probably going to get them into a lot of traffic out here as we're going to be working our way into the Panorama City area. Woodman's going to be the first uh, intersection he's going to be coming to, but you can see a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of cars out here and a lot of traffic. There we go, we're on Woodman, we're getting a right turn on Woodman. Now LAPD out here in force, but they may not be directly behind that vehicle. They're using the helicopter for tracking, making his way into, making his way into a, a community right there, in a community, it's actually a very residential area. These high rates of speed though, very dis disconcerting for the LAPD, that's for sure. Running every red light that we've seen, and you can see that car still moving very, very fast. Residential neighborhood this afternoon. Going to be in the Panorama area past Ranchito. Hard on the brakes coming up onto a uh, northbound Stansbury. This is a very, very fast moving pursuit and they are not behind him. I can't stress this enough. There are no units behind this vehicle. Basically, it's just the LAPD airship over it calling it out. Officers from LAPD, they're in the area. Now we're on chase. Uh, Pat, you know what? I was so involved in trying to get here. I didn't actually hear the original want. I, maybe somebody at our assignment desk can throw that out. But I do know that the officers from LAPD, and it was actually an undercover unit that originally was behind this vehicle. So not sure what the original want was on it, but we do know that LAPD, they were in undercover vehicles for a while, and they wanted to get some vehicles like the, the black, whoa, those black and whites with the light bars behind it because it was so dangerous. But they were behind it for a little while, but they, called, they basically backed off almost right away because of the crazy driving that this person is doing this afternoon. Definitely in the Panorama City area right now. I believe that's going to be Tobias. That's actually my old apartment building when I was a kid. So we're coming away, uh, it's making a turn here. We're going to be out on Parthenia here in just a moment. These streets, very tight. A lot of activity out here. These are smaller streets. We're by the Panorama City Mall. So you got to have to, you got to know that this area always very crowded, probably working its way back out onto Van Nuys Boulevard. A lot of pedestrians out here, a lot of traffic this afternoon, making this so tense, so nerve-wracking just to watch it. Hopefully nobody's going to get hurt. Into a park into a parking lot by the mall. Yeah, oh, and that's the thing. There's a lot of people. Up. It looks like we're parking. This is kind of unusual. Door popped open. And no, maybe not. The officers, see, I told you, the black and whites, they might not have been right behind them, but they are very close. This right here, very, very dangerous stuff. Th through a parking lot, I, I think this is going to be the, uh, an area right by the Walmart near the mall out here. Looks like we're going to be working our way on Vesper, and it looks like we're coming back out onto Parthenia. Wrong way through those little tight streets right there. Very dangerous. Look at that. Look at that unbelievable type of move but back on Van Nuys Boulevard wrong side of the road for a little bit at least he's on the right side of the road but these high speeds you can hear the officers on the ground already saying let's go back to tracking let's go back to tracking pedestrians actually running out of the way down there Oof. <clears throat> Going to be uh, with you guys here uh, just a second. I don't want to lose it. Uh, yep, I'm live on KCAL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime. Whoop, up. 
pop, pop. We are still in the Panorama City area, Canterbury. I cannot stress enough that this is a following. We are tracking this car. There are no officers from LAPD behind it. This person just running, driving recklessly this afternoon. And these are one of the ones where you just got to think to yourself, maybe they should be in pursuit. Every red light, every stop sign, extremely high speeds. Maybe those lights and sirens would warn some people down there on the ground that this pursuit is coming. But in that same breath, you have to realize then there's more vehicles moving at high rate of speed. This kind of these, these type of decisions, well above my pay grade. I wouldn't even want to be in the seat to make that decision. Should we be chasing this guy? Should we not? Another red light, just right through it. This vehicle moving so, so quickly. Stolen vehicle, that's what we're hearing right now. Coming to a hard stop right there by the wash. That vehicle, that guy out of the vehicle starting to run right now. The wash maybe not the best place. He's probably thinking he's going to be able to run underneath that wash. That's going to be a great place to hide, but it's also going to be a spot where he's really going to be boxed in. We're going to keep an eye on both sides of this uh, of this wash. Perhaps he has some information. Maybe there's a drain, uh, drain pipe down there or something, but right now he basically just jumped out of that car. There's one of the first officers making their way here onto scene, but we've been having this wide shot up the entire time. Haven't seen him come out either direction. Oh, there he is. There it is. Pedestrian with a dog, definitely. There are the officers jumping over the fence. That, that, yeah, that's what we were trying to see just a moment ago. That's the reason why we're moving. Always a tree in our shot. Uh, these guys making that move right now. I'm not sure if that was the guy. We did definitely see that pink hat. Maybe he just handed that hat off to that guy and he's walking off. Maybe that was his plan. Uh, these officers, obviously, they have different information than what we are just seeing out here. Uh, but you, officers from the LAPD looking underneath that bridge right now, you can see that they, they have a weapon out. That guy with the hat, which we thought might be that, might be that driver, probably not. So right now you can see officers from LAPD on that precarious slope right there, weapons out giving directions. We can't see that guy because he's actually underneath that bridge. But this pursuit coming to an end out here in the Arlita area. We'll get you those cross streets in just a moment. That suspect technically still on the loose, but running down underneath that bridge area, probably that's, uh, that's what brought this thing to an end. Uh, that's somebody that they're take yeah they're taking him into custody but they're saying that there's possibly another person down there so they're going to be searching for somebody else but they're saying that that is one of two that they're taught that they're going to be looking for
no, we didn't see anybody else jumping out of that car, but that's what the officers from the LAPD are talking about. I think they're talking about accomplice on the ground, meaning this gentleman right here that, uh, well, we use the gentleman term loosely uh, with that red hat. So they're basically, they're taking him into custody. Also, they want to talk to him. Uh, but the other, other person that we see that's in handcuffs right there, I'm not so sure that's the guy. Uh, it was very quick. He jumped out of that car very quickly, clearly used that red hat. So possibly uh, there's something going on here. This does seem to be a homeless encampment. Maybe he had some information about what was going on at this area. Right now, this is Arlita and the wash out here. You can see a number of officers from LAPD. Little bit of a homeless encampment right there. But they're definitely, if, they're, if the guy was underneath that bridge, he's gonna be in custody shortly, unless, like I said, there may be some sort of drainage or something that this guy may have been aware of. But right now, they've got two people in custody. Uh, they're definitely gonna be talking to that guy with the red hat, like, where'd you get that hat? because that was clearly seen uh, when that uh, suspect jumped outside of that uh, stolen vehicle when it came to a stop over here in Arlita. What's up? LAPD asking that guy to take his pink hat off. I would, al I would almost think that that's the guy. I'm not 100% on it, but uh, the airship is talking about it as well. Right now, they just want to check and see uh, if that's the guy. <clears throat> they were much lower when this whole thing came to an end, but it's pretty, uh, pretty unusual if there's an extra guy down there for sure. Thank you, Gabe. Well, that's what they say, but They say that's him. Dude, it's Monday. Dave is saying we should rewind it, but uh, I don't, I can't right now.
Right, Audrey? I, I tend to agree. But, you know, somebody's saying that's him. You know, I, I don't want to be that guy. I'm not the guy that's going to go ahead and condemn somebody. Hey, everybody. That's a shame stance. <laughs> I don't know. He seems to have pretty good posture. Elizabeth, that's what they're saying. I'm not 100% on that, but every day is a long day. Sorry. Uh, we're in the backup, and, uh, the, you know, every camera is a little different. Whoa, see, I told you that was a slippery slope. Tasha, if that's the case, then where where are the right guys? You know what? I would re-rack it, especially for the internet. I you know, but in this helicopter, I don't know if I can. Hang on. You know what? Let's let's have a little fun. Let me try. And the only reason I say that is because with this helicopter, I gotta. I'm. They're knobs, and they're in precarious places. And I'm. I run the camera with a knob too. <laughs> now somebody's gonna be like. Give me a second. One second, sir. All right, so hang on. So you guys watching, I think I hit this button or I hit that button and then I hit this button. Well, he's definitely got the pink hat. There's no doubt about it but I can't tell you what the guy looks like. I mean, you never really, we never get like a really super close shot of him. There he goes, and that's the live picture. So, I mean, I don't know, guys. Definitely the dude in the hat. That's what I'm thinking too, right? But they're saying it's the guy in the in in that. He's, they're saying it's the guy with the short hair. My guess is they'll probably take both of them in, and they'll probably do try to do some sort of uh, fingerprints. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. You know what? Uh, the uh, you probably heard it as well as I did. Some other station basically condemned that guy right there. Uh, I'm glad it's not me, but I understand what you're saying. I'm looking at it right now. We've been bouncing the uh, picture back and forth, you know, for our interneters, and I agree. I, I unless he changed his shoes as well, right? You know what, I got it up on the internet right now, and wow, that, that's a sound bite that I don't appreciate. And it looks like he has black shoes with white soles. So 
it might not be either one of these guys. You'd think that they'd be like, you know, no, it wasn't me. What are you doing? You get out of your mind. But I don't know. Somebody is, uh, some very wise person is saying, what happened to the guy with the dog? There was somebody walking a dog in there all, as well. I wonder what kind of shoes that guy's got on or a gal. Don't be sexist, women can steal cars too. Yeah, but she doesn't have white shoes at all. Somebody was asking about the, uh, the woman with the dog. There she is in the shot, but she clearly does not have white shoes on. Yep, Elizabeth, I would agree with that. Um, you know, a, a lot of times people are going to say, uh, <laughs> Matthew, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, a lot of times people say that what we see on CSI is not the real thing in real life, but you got to wonder. I mean, fingerprints are fingerprints. It should be pretty easy, huh? didn't look like that the female with the dog was wearing it she's got black shoes also well uh, what you guys want to do Job, y'all. Back to base it is. Interneters, thank you so much for joining us. I don't know if they're going to keep this uh, feed up while we land. If they do, fantastic. Let me uh, just say thank you for the uh, batch of letters that I got today. I do appreciate that. A uh, lot of uh, talented, interesting, and cool people out there watching our stuff. And uh, I ran out of stickers. Don't freak out. I shouldn't have said that like that. I ran out of stickers I had at the office. I only took a small batch to give to friends and stuff. I'll make sure we'll get on that uh, on that tomorrow, get the rest of them out. Mary, you are not alone, but uh, we'll see what happens here later on. I'm sure this one we might get some sort of uh, update update to the update to the update 